everyone. Today I'm going to walk you through downloading the right version of Unity as well as the VRChat SDK3 to your computer so that you can start creating content and developing worlds in VRChat. So first you're going to want to navigate to this Unity Downloads page. Again, all the links that you'll need to follow along with this video will be in the description. Um, so we get to this Unity page and this is for the right version of Unity in order to uh, upload stuff to VRChat. It's going to be Unity version 2018-420. Alright, so next we download the editor and save it to a spot that makes sense. Now once that's downloaded, you're going to want to open up the executable file. Accept the terms of agreement. And download it to a place that makes sense. First, you should make sure that Unity is closed. So once the download fi finishes, you're going to want to connect the right Unity version to your Unity Hub. So as you can see, <coughs> we have these versions of 2018, but not the version that we're looking for for the VR chat SDK so we're gonna locate that version in our down so once you've located the right file location you're going to want to go back to unity hub and make sure that unity hub recognizes the 2018 420 version of unity in the description to this video there should be some links uh, and if you follow the one for the VRChat SDK, it'll take you to VRChat homepage. You'll need to have uh, your VRChat account ready to log into, but once you do, you'll get to this page. And the SDK version we want to download is this SDK3 plus Udon. Uh, this is in live alpha, so they're warning you right now that uh, you can't create uh, avatars with this SDK yet, but you can create worlds with it, and that's what we're doing in this video. So we'll download that SDK, save it to a location that makes sense, and then we're going to want to open Unity Hubs again, start a new project, name it whatever you want, but make sure that the version number is that 2018 420 version, and then we'll start the project right and so here we are in our unity project now we can go to packages we'll want to add a new package so import package or just navigate to where that package is saved on our computer drag it into the project file you're going to want to import everything So once the SDK is loaded into your project, uh, you'll get this 
indication from VR chat. Uh, this is also a change log, keep you updated on uh, the new features and uh, implementations that uh, VR chat team is working on. So the first thing you're going to want to do once you have this all set up is go to your control panel and sign on to your VR chat account. All right, and now you'll be able to publish worlds and publish avatars, and they should show up in the user created section of the account that you've signed into. Uh, in order to load a simple world, let's say just a plane, um, you'll have this plane selected. Let's give that uh, a simple material. We don't got want to go too crazy here. there Maybe a light a light green so the first thing you want to do in order to uh, upload your world and have the VR chat SDK recognize that you are in fact trying to create a scene is you're going to create an empty game object and then give this game object uh, the built-in BRC scene descriptor now that's that that's on there the next thing you want to do is create a spawn point for your character so uh, you only need to create one, but uh, sometimes you can have this this be in random places. Um, so we'll set this size to one, uh, another empty game object, and let's just move that, I don't know, sort of off the transform over here. And we'll call this spawn. And make sure spawn selected. Now we're gonna. <clears throat> now we want to go back to the VR chat uh, control panel. And this will take a bit longer to load now that you have uh, the scene descriptor. And you want to go to the builder section. And you'll get any errors about the way the scene is built in here. For instance, right here it shows us that uh, there is no collision matrix. Um, so you must first configure your layers for VR chat to proceed. So we can press this setup layers button. This adds all VR chat layers to your project and pushes any custom layers down the layers list. If you have custom layers assigned to game objects, you'll need to reassign them. Are you sure you want to continue? Just do it. And then we'll set the collision matrix. All right, and we're only gonna want to test this, so we'll build and test. And this will open an instance of VR chat. And so here we have it. This is our level. not 
super interesting right now, but it's ours.